Hope you're doing good. Mike back with another video. Back here to finally get into the S Pen case for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. A case that I'm very weary to actually wear, and it's not because of the back. It's because of the front piece. If I had to be 100% real, I already struggle with wearing cases anyway because I love the design of the phone that I got. I don't get phones that I typically don't like. And I like this white color that I have, and it feels very good in the hand as is. So this case would only be rocked because of the S Pen. And depending on how bulky the back is, I would even be tempted to just wear the back for and on my phone and just forego the front piece in its entirety. I know it has some adhesive, I think, points to help it stick. And I, and I think that's what's really throwing me off about it and just cases for the for the cover screen. And it's just because of how smooth the cover screen front is in terms of operating it. Having a front piece on it just feels so wonky and it looks weird. But again, we are going to see. We're going to test it. Of course, we're going to have other cases that we're going to test out. So that also kind of ruins the adhesive aspect of this. But without further ado, let's get into the video. And we got a little piece down here and up here. So which ones do we decide to actually cut? Why not just do the bottom? And then upon opening it here, there's the two pieces. And we just simply slide it on out. And again, simple packaging. I like it. You have your instruction manual booklet right here, which is cool. And then you have your back piece, which feels very, very good. I like how this feels. And I love the fact that this comes up or comes with an S Pen. I was looking at slide the pop-up S Pen, but I love the fact that the case comes with the S Pen. That's something that we definitely needed. That's probably why this case costs, what, $100? It's mainly for the S Pen, but it's also nice given the fact that it clips on. And when you think about ca cases, especially for more kind of prestigious devices like this, to just put it lightly, there are certain tolerances you have to keep in mind in terms of the gripping and the fitting of the case onto device. You want to make sure you don't actually ruin any level of aesthetic of your device. And so getting first party cases like this for foldables and flippables specifically is probably the best idea. There are a few cases I want to try out that are, you know, very, very good and very precise with their measurements. So that's something I'll be interested in as well. But as we can see here, slide the pop up. All we gotta do is slide down. Um, there we go. And it comes right on out like that. So that's nice. And that's the S Pen. And as you guys can see, that's the tip. So it looks very good. And this S Pen is made for the Fold 6, which is nice. And it fits right back in. Oh, well. All right. So I didn't actually fit it all the way in. There we go like that all right so that's something i have to get used to with this but this s pen and the s pen pro i believe are the s pens that are available for the z fold 6 and so now by removing the sticker and i like that the s pen is relatively smooth to release from the case because that was going to be a next concern of mine but i'm glad it no longer is so let's start with the back and as you guys can see, align the cameras up pretty much, snap it on like so. And it's got a nice, oh, I like that. It's got a nice, you know, grip. Oh, it feels good. Now it adds a just a little bit, right? It is somewhat of a slim case, which is perfectly fine. But I do like how it feels, especially in connection to the hinge, because it kind of makes the hinge feel a little bigger. I like that. I like how it just fits very well. And so you get precise cutouts for the most part. They probably, um, maybe I need to slide it back. All right. So yes, precise cutouts, as you guys can see there. Now it does feel like I have to really slide it on by pushing it. There we go. So yes, nice. And it still helps. It makes the camera bump stand out nice and well. So that's the back. Now here comes the, uh, the fun part is the front piece. And so, yes, as I said, it has adhesive stickers that you would place on it. And so, as you guys can see, 
you take those stickers off and then you place it onto the device. And so if I'm looking, this is the top here. This is the bottom right here. And we go ahead and place it on like so. And so, yes, for the sake of this video, we're going to remove the adhesives. We're going to move, remove the adhesive. And I guess you can clean the adhesive to, uh, you know, if you want to reapply it, you know, if you remove the case, you can always clean the adhesive and then reapply this case. Oh, no. Oh, okay. So just a little one. All right. So let's go ahead and get that on out the way. And then we have the little one down here. Let me make sure my fingers don't actually go on the adhesive. Take that off. And then we take that one off. So there goes all the adhesive pieces. And so now we're just gonna turn this around and fit it onto device. All right, and so now. And you fit it on like so. And it's on. So it's something you definitely have to get used to. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So I'm, I am thankful for that. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay. So it really doesn't add much heft or thickness to it, which is good. It feels very good. Now the ultimate test is actually being able to open it. And I think that's a problem with this case, but we're going to find out. And so far, so good. I was able to open it. The front, the cover screen case did not move, did not adjust. Right now, I like that darker aesthetic, so that's just what I have going on. But I might change that. I like the live wallpaper effect of my screen there. But being able to open and close, so far, so good. So far, so good. I like how the back, because of the S-Pen, also gives you good grip holding it like this as well and now without further ado let's go ahead and grab the s pen now the problem i think most of us have with this s pen is the fact that it only works on the inside or the interior of the display it does not work for the cover screen so come on come on come on samsung we're i think what Two generations in now since having the S Pen available. If it wasn't with the, uh, the Z Fold 4, it was definitely with the Z Fold 5. And now with the Z Fold 6, how is the S Pen not available for the cover screen yet? It's It's got to be available for the cover screen. And so, as you see, you have your S Pen or your, your command, your S Command prompt over here. And this is to get involved and get started with the S Pen. And so, as you see... You can turn simple sketches into art, and that's what's going to be nice about this is using the S Pen to actually sketch stuff out a lot easier. And I like the fact that it is an option. Sketch the image, smart select, create note, screen write. And then you can also add. So let's go ahead and look at adding. And so you can add more shortcuts like view all notes instead of creating a note. You can do both, which isn't a bad idea. You can add magnify or translate, pin up right on the calendar right and then you can add your apps and so you have all these apps you can add i don't think i'm going to add any apps i think i'm just going to add more of the shortcuts so i think i'm going to take this shortcut oh, okay you just have to click on it okay and i think what i'm going to do is do that and then i have screen right and then i have translate and then uh i might do magnify or pin up let's do magnify so if I select magnify, it's now in there. So boom, just like that, I have that in there. I can also search if I wanted to, but I can also just go ahead and swipe from the corner and now I'm good to go from there. So this is gonna be interesting. That's my long laundry list of items. So if I click out of that, there we go. And you notice that the S Pen command is not available on the screen when the S Pen is far away. When the S Pen shows up, it pops up. So if we go into settings, this is where you can adjust and customize your S Pen. We come into settings, 
and then once settings opens up, scroll down here to advanced features, you have S Pen. And so this is where you can have fun with the S Pen. So upon clicking on S Pen, you have air actions, which I have turned off. I can also turn my air view off if I wanted to, because there is a button. And so for me, I will use my button to bring up my air view. And I'm going to turn off, I think I'm going to do previews only. So now when my S Pen is on the screen, as you guys can see, it no longer has the pointer there. It's just for preview. So if I hover over something, it will give me a preview. Yeah, there we go. And as you see, if I hover, it will show. So maybe if I hover over here, you guys will see. See how it hovers and it just gives you a preview of what you're looking at. So that's what I left on. I like that. So for me, I'm having a little difficulty operating right now behind the camera, but we shall keep pushing. So if I go ahead and swipe back, I have my air actions turned off. Now, my air command, show air command icon, I don't want that. Open air command with the button, as you guys can see right there. So now that's what I have. Now, I also can change it to compact. So now when I press the button, now they pop up like that instead of the full screen. I guess you got to be relatively close to it. I'm trying to see if it'll let me do it again. All right. So if I click, there you go. So as you guys can see, if you get close to it, that's how your S Pen button works there. And so that's what I like about the S Pen from that perspective is that it is very, very useful. And the interesting thing is we were all kind of scared as to whether or not this would be a useful pin for a foldable device because of our concerns with the with the display quality and whether or not it would hinder the display or break the display and it's good to see that samsung's intuition or its innovation was able to create such wonderful technology so now let's back up then we got s pen to text yes if you guys don't know what that is that's where you can type in search fields or uh, write in search fields. And then if it recognizes your handwriting, as you see displayed there, it will show those words. And of course, it's got to give me the little preview here real quick. And so once it does that, now, now I can, and then you get that the little bar, you know, you get your space, your back button or the keyboard if you want to use a keyboard instead. And what I can type out is, let's see, okay. I tried to write out display. I thought it would have actually showed it, but it didn't. Okay, so let's try this again. You guys should be able to see it now. Let's see if I can do it without my focus jumping all over the place. So now, as you guys can see, I typed it out display, and you get writing feedback, meaning you it sounds as if you're writing on paper. Not necessarily haptic feedback, but you get audio feedback, which is nice when actually typing with S Pen to text. So I like that feature a lot right there. And so if we swipe back, you have your screen off memos, write notes while the screen is off. Press and hold the S Pen button and double tap the screen with your S Pen to start a note. So if we turn the screen off, I press and hold the S Pen button, right? I double tap the screen. Now, if I wanted to jot something down real quick, like remind me to take the trash out. Now, you can write among the uh, actual hinge, the crease, with no problem, which is also nice. And then what I can also do is come jump up here, hit the erase button, erase that. And that's my note. Remind me to take the trash. Now, you probably can't read that that well. I have doctor's handwriting, but you see that it works. And if I want to keep it, I can hit save up at the top or just swipe back and discard. And so and then let's go ahead and jump back inside here. And so that is your screen off memos. You have quick notes, press and hold the S Pen button, then tap the screen twice with your S Pen. And with Quick Notes, you can do this with the screen on. So all you have to do is come in here, press and hold and double tap, and you'll bring up Samsung Notes to write a quick note that will then be stored within your Samsung Notes. And I, I wonder, do people sleep on Samsung Notes? Because this is a very, very good app, a very, very useful app that really does rival Apple Notes and Google Keep. 
and it has so many features in it, especially with you know the likes of One UI 6.1.1 and really One UI 6 in general. But quick, uh, but but Samsung Notes is very very good for our for the Samsung ecosystem and for note taking. And to see that you can do this with the screen on or off is really really good. Now in terms of more S Pen settings, it's really just one. So if you click on it, it's just sound. You can turn that on or off. So if you want sounds on when you're using the S Pen, by all means leave it on. But if you want it off then you can also turn it off there as well. And if you want to check for updates, you come in here and you click on each of these different ones. So you got Samsung Capture. And as you see, I'll have to show you guys on the next one. If I click on Air Command, you see it says checking for updates down at the bottom. It's checking to see if any updates have been pushed out to the S Pen and their features to update. So it's good to see that we're able to keep track of those as well with our S Pen. Now the next thing I actually want to show you guys is if we swipe out, and we actually come into, let's see, oh, let's see, where is it at? If we jump in here into Good Lock, you're going to notice an app called Pentastic. Pentastic is how you can further customize your experience with the S Pen. So you can change your air command window with different options. You can bring the old school carousel back right there, right? You can bring this cool retro look. And all you got to do is hover over it to get the preview. And so, as I've shown you guys that, that's what it looks like. If I here, see here, you get more of like a black and white aesthetic, which looks good. Slightly old school as well. And then, of course, the standard. You can also change your pointer. So, default is a little circle, but if you want to, you can change it and make it look basic, like an arrow or a mouse. You can change it to a heart. So, you got different looks. You can add your own custom pointer if you wanted to. And you can change your double tap shortcut. So, by holding down the S Pen and double tapping the screen, you can change it from the notes. So if I actually clicked on this, I can actually turn this on and change this action. And so if I did turn this on, you see now I have different avail available apps at my control that I can actually use to actually change my double tap functionality here on the Z Fold 6. And this is all done with Pentastic. For me, I like the notes feature, so I'm going to leave it be. But this is Pentastic within GoodLock to be able to adjust your S Pen. And this is available with any Galaxy device that has S Pen connectivity or, you know, usability. If you can use your S Pen with your phone, just jump into GoodLock. You'll see Pentastic there, and then you'll be able to use that to customize further your S Pen experience. So by putting that in there, everything's good. And that is the S Pen case for the Galaxy Z Fold 6. And I'm not going to lie, I definitely like the back. I definitely like the feel of the case. And I like the fact that I haven't had any issues. You guys can see on screen me opening and closing the device. Even closing it with one hand is still more than usable. And so I like that the framing of it is actually starting to kind of wear in on me. I'm actually kind of liking it. The problem is, of course, is I have this white color and I really enjoy looking at it. And because I'm still in that honeymoon phase, I'm wondering, should I have waited to put this case on there? Now, I am noticing that. No, it's just on camera. But no, these cut these cutouts are actually accurate. It's just a shadow from my light that's making it look like it's offset. But it's actually very, very accurate when I actually look at it in person with my eyes, save for the top piece that wasn't pushed in enough. Oh my bad, the back piece still wasn't quite all the way pushed in enough. But my man, this is, Samsung did it with this case though. I'm not even going front. I like this case right now and it had no problem with the fold. Like if we go ahead and unfold again, just to demonstrate, if we actually look at the back, so let me turn off the screen. If we actually look at the back, you see it's hidden, no problems. And it's got a nice flush look there. It looks very, very good. So shout out to Samsung again for making such quality products, including their first party cases for the Samsung Galaxy devices. Links will be down in the description box below as to you guys being able to get this. Got you guys covered there. And let me know down in the comment section below. Do you guys use any cases on your phones? Do you use them on your flipping foldables? And do you like Samsung's first party cases? 
do you like the s pen the comment section is open for discussion but again as always if you guys haven't already make sure that ignite the like button subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so i'm free that way it's the video so you and i can sit back check see who's cracking and don't forget to hit that super thing button down there by the like and dislike button cash out the paper and check the channel out for all the videos available to you that's the way to keep tech fresh and alive on this channel and mike is signing out and until the next video wait for it